Hello and welcome to Spartan Design University. Let's take a look at adding a gradient background to our site. On my desktop here I have a file called bodyrepeat.png. I'm going to drag a copy of it into my source folder so it will be accessible to the CSS. And let's take a look at that in Photoshop. This is a 10 pixels wide and 600 pixels tall. It's a gradient from a dark gold to a light gold. Now beyond the bottom of this light gold, we want to continue this same color all the way to the bottom of the page and use that in case we have a short page on our, on our phone. So I'll grab my eyedropper and I will sample this color down here right at the very, very bottom because we're going to need this hex value in a minute. All right, back to Dreamweaver and our browser. Once again, we start with phone. So we're talking about this white space down here at the bottom. We want to fill that with that gold color. So we're going to go to our phone default all the way up to the body tag where we do a background background color and then we jump into Photoshop we copy that value and we paste it we refresh and there's that yellow color down there at the bottom Okay. So it works on a phone, it works on a tablet, and on the desktop it works, but we want to have this be a gradient. So beyond the borders of the container, which is this part of this color, instead of being a flat yellow, that's not very cool, we're going to put that gradient in there. Now the gradient only shows up on the desktop. There's, it's not on the tablet, and it's not on the phone. So we're going to add it to the CSS of the desktop. That way it only gets loaded on the desktop and doesn't slow our phones or our tablet bandwidth down. So background image, we'll browse for it. Go to our desktop. HTML5 start, there it is. It fills in the proper path for us. And we're going to do a background repeat and we only want it to repeat on the x-axis. That means left to right, not top to bottom. Hit refresh. And I put it on the wrong thing. I put it on the container. I should have put it in the body of this desktop. There we go. Okay, so it should move from there out to there. Notice how it starts dark and you can't see the, the point at which it transitions to the solid yellow color because it's exactly the same hex value. Once again, phone, tablet, and desktop.